Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another video and we got another new mainline casting review uh, for Hot Wheels in 2016. This is the Aston Martin DB10 and uh, here it is. Again, the Aston Martin DB10 and as you can see, Spectre featured in 007. Uh, it's number 112 of 250, 2 of 10 in the Hot Wheels showroom. Take a look at the back here. It's an F case, new model for 2016. And um, it's a custom made two door coupe created for the James Bond film Spectre. It boasts a six speed manual transmission and a 4.7 liter V8 engine. So there it is. And let's take it out. So here it is. So you got a nice. Uh, kind of like shark looking gray. Um, we got metal body, plastic base, um, blue tinted windshield, pretty basic casting, four pieces, you got an interior, a base, a body, and uh, the glass bits. Uh, you do get some side mirrors, which is kind of nice. Um, tampa wise, we've got tampa on the license plate. This is DD or DB10 AGB, and we've got a little Aston Martin logo up there, and some uh, headlight tampos, and some little accenting on the hood. So overall, pretty basic. Nothing on the sides. So it looks pretty nice. Um, let's take a uh, close-up look at some of the tampo work on here. Get out the macro lens and let's take a real close up look. Start with the headlights. See what we can get here. So there those are. There's your headlight tampo. There's what we're looking at is the Aston Martin logo up really close. Um, here's the other tampo that's on the hood. And let's take a look at the license plate. And there that is, DB10 AGB. Take a look at the wheel up close, base, probably not much, too much to look at there. And that's going to be pretty much it. So what is the real car that it's based on? Well, as I said, it's featured in the uh, Spectre 007 uh, movie, which I admittedly did not watch. I have not seen it. Um, it uh, hit theaters uh, November 6, 2015 in the U.S. There were um, 10 of these cars made, 10 of the real ones made, um, oops, 10 of the real ones made that uh, were actually featured, or eight of which were featured in the movie. Two were made for promotional purposes, uh, one of which actually just sold last month uh, for about 2.4 million uh, pounds. So just shy of uh, 3.5 million U.S. dollars. So that's pretty crazy. The money went to charity, so that's nice. Um, so as it says on the back of the card, it's got a 4.7 liter V8, 430 uh, brake horsepower. It's got a six-speed manual transmission, and it's a two-door coupe. So there it is. It's an Aston Martin. It looks like an Aston Martin. And it's pretty neat. Um... The license plate, whatever, I tried to look it up online to see if it meant anything, and uh, so far I don't think there's anything that it, that it really means. Uh, but it is movie correct, so that's kind of nice. Um, and of course, as always, we're going to rate it on a scale of one to three stars. One being, I really like it. Two being, it's okay. And three being, or sorry, one being, I don't like it. What is going on here? Two being it's okay, and three being I really like it, I'm probably going to give it a 2 to a 2.5. I think it's pretty cool. I do like Aston Martins, but this one in particular doesn't really strike me. But I think it does look neat, and I think it's neat that they did a car that's going to be featured in a movie right away, and all of that is kind of cool. So... And as far as 007 goes, I do dig some of the old movies, but I'm not like a huge new movie Bond fan um, at all. So that doesn't really sing to me either. So there you go. And there it is. 
So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and have a great day.